All right, we are live. Hello, everybody. Can everyone hear us okay? Hello. Yeah, sorry, I was muted. <laughs> oh. Hi. Uh, we should be live. Uh, why don't we wait like a minute or two and wait for everyone to come in? I was going to tweet it out. Sean, did you? Uh, not yet. Okay. Danny, can you hear us? Let me take a screenshot of us. I'll tweet this out. Uh, yeah, so welcome everyone. I think we'll wait another minute or two before we get started. Sean's mic is super low. Hello. Hello. Is he any louder? It does sound a little loud, to be honest. I mean, a little low. Um. Hello. Better? Yeah, maybe that's even too loud. Let's see. I, uh, I, fi I fixed the game. Oh, sounds... <laughs> okay, fixed the game. Okay, I'm going to write this quick tweet. Um... Is this the season finale? Uh, it's the last one for the year, right? Are we yes, doing another okay. one? Uh, I think we might... Well, we can discuss that uh, in the announcement section. Um, but, okay, one second, join us. Which we are discussing. Okay. Just letting everyone trickle in. Okay, should we get started, John? Should I share my screen? Oh, uh, I thought we were introducing Praveen as well. And, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Should we, talking a little bit. Should, should we start? Yep. Okay, well, um, so yeah, so welcome everyone. This is, I think, the sixth episode of Amplify with Friends. Uh, so Sean and I have been hosting it. Um, I guess a quick intro on myself. So um, I've been working on the Amplify team for the last, I think it's been like six or seven months um, in a solutions architectural, basically focused on the open source community. Um, so doing things like this, but I've been working in our Discord channel. Um, and yeah, would you want to give an intro, Sean? Um, hi, everyone. I am a dev advocate on the... Amplify team. I mostly focus on web technologies, like uh, mostly React and Svelte, but I think Amplify is just in general a very framework agnostic place. So it doesn't really matter as long as you, you speak JavaScript or Swift or uh, whatever you use in Android <laughs> or Flutter. And uh, Flutter is like the new one. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah. And we have a special guest named Praveen. So he will be our friend today. Um, and yeah, Praveen, do you want to uh, introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, hi, uh, everyone. Hi, friends. I'm Praveen. Uh, I've been with Amplify for a year and a half. Uh, the first year, I was an um, engineer on the um, Amplify JavaScript team, where I um, worked on some modularization projects to uh, lower or lower the bundle size of uh, some of these um, um, applications uh, written in React and Angular. Then I moved over to Flutter uh, to support Amplify uh, in the Flutter uh, uh, framework and been um, uh, launching and working on that. And here to talk Sweet. about more Amplify and Flutter. We are excited to have you. Um, and you've been Thank at you. Amazon for a while, right? Yeah, I've been, uh, recently finished 10 years in uh, Amazon. Wow. So actually, 10 and a half years in Amazon. Isn't that impressive, Sean? That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. We should have a well, special emote. Yeah. Um, what, do you think, what do you think's changed the most for in the, in the 10 years? Uh, a lot has changed. Um, I've actually gone through various phases. Uh, I've been a first, my first three years was total e-commerce uh, side. 
and then moved on to the retail side. And now I'm in a more open source world. So for myself as well, just going through different phases in Amazon and just seeing like how uh, uh, different and vast it is to, in terms of uh, getting the um, experience or the developer experience, it's crazy. But I think the uh, process is that uh, getting more and more streamlined within the company, it, it's great to see that that over the period of 10 years. Yeah, that's amazing. Must be. Um, okay, well, for today, we normally start with a few announcements, but as we mentioned, the main focus will be understanding how you can use um, Amplify with Flutter. And it is in preview, so that essentially means that developers can test it out and provide feedback, and basically there's active development is there a public date as to when Flutter is going to be available? I'm going to guess no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that means no. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's in, it's in beta. Eventually, it's going to go but GA, yeah, but whatever. I just mean GA. Okay. Um, so anyway, so the main announcement that everyone has probably seen is reInvent. Um, have you been to a reInvent, Praveen? Um, no, not uh, personally. I've only streamed it or watch oh, wow. videos. Uh, have you ever been how did, something How did you escape? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, how did <laughs> you, you never Amazon for 10 years. I was only in AWS for last one year, one and a half years uh, okay, before okay. that uh, was in detail. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I haven't been. I, um, I have, I almost had an opportunity to go, but like, I, I like, I heard this just a lot of people and like Vegas isn't not really my scene. So I'm kind of right. glad that I never went. Um, but yeah. I'm speaking this year. I'm speaking uh, in, in wave two of reInvent. Yeah. So, do you want to give? I guess then you probably want to give the background on on reInvent. I mean, it's essentially just AWS's annual conference. There'll be tons of announcements, but Amplify specifically has its own track called front end um, track, which I actually have the link here. I'll post in Discord. Oh, Elise already did that. Um, so yes, sorry, I guess the formal name is modern applications, uh, for the track, but yeah. So do you want to explain how the waves work? Um, I don't know if there's a lot to explain. So, uh, usually amplify, usually reinvent is a week in Vegas in person and they take over like, I don't know, five, six different hotels. But this year, because of COVID, uh, we are splitting it up into two waves, uh, all, you know, free and on, on video. So it's actually probably going to be a uh, much, much more accessible to a lot more people than normal. Uh, and, but, you know, normal exactly. for AWS is like 50,000 people. Um, so, so, it's, so it's likely to be higher than that. Uh, and so the first wave will be, I actually don't know when the first wave is, and the second wave is in January next year. <laughs> that's the one I'm in, so that's what I care about. <laughs> Oh, I thought that I I thought you meant like there were three weeks of reinvent and there was a wave each week. Never mind. No. Uh, but in any event, you can essentially access all the content on demand, so you don't actually need to like abide by a certain schedule, which is really neat because in the past it's been hard. Um, so it's December first through December eighteenth, so it's the first three weeks. Um, I mean, and speakers are speakers are also rated on live attendance ratings, so. Um, come support your favorite people. <laughs> yeah. so Because it's very lonely if we talk to talk. ourselves. <laughs> uh, I, I just have a small talk. I, I mean, it's my first time, so uh, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, announcing something big. I'm just uh, doing a 300 level talk on Jamstack with Amplify. And I think That's it cool. will be like the second or third day. Uh, and yeah, it'll be on a schedule somewhere. I don't actually know or care where, when it is because it'll be pre-recorded, but at least I'll be like answering questions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I just sent in the, the slides yesterday and then there'll be reviews and, and all that. And, uh, hopefully it will not be too, too, uh, too much that I have to change. Yeah. Are you speaking for Vina about Slaughter? Uh, no, Michael is speaking. Michael is oh. preparing a presentation. Oh, okay. So there will be a, um, a talk on Flutter at reInvent. So this might be, yeah. this audience might be curious about that. Um, well, anyway, we should probably, I guess, get started. So the idea is, well, I don't know, Praveen, if you want to put, I can put you on the spot, give like a high level overview of just Flutter in general, since it is, I guess, recently pretty popular. And then Sean can kind of, we'll dive into a demo. Yeah, for sure. Um, so Flutter has been um, 
So, uh, support for Amplify and Flutter has been one of our most requested uh, feature in uh, Amplify framework. Uh, there was a uh, issue created in GitHub repository for Amplify JavaScript, which had uh, almost 2,000 reactions uh, looking for uh, support uh, for Amplify. And that's what uh, we picked up this year and uh, supporting a uh, or creating an official support for uh, supporting all of these Amplify features in Amplify uh, in Flutter. And our goal is to be as uh, close to as possible with the, um, uh, the native experience that uh, mobile developers are used to in Android and iOS and including JavaScript. So uh, the goal the goal for us uh, that we want to you know build Amplify and Flutter is the same uh, pluggable architecture that uh, Amplify developers are used to have, where you can plug in uh, a different uh, uh, cloud resources or different uh, plugins and only uh, add uh, categories or plugins that you want to use and the same developer experience, same API, same way of using it, same uh, behavior, uh, all of those exactly the same. And what we have right now is we have a preview version that uh, supports um, most basic authentication operations, uh, analytics, storage, and currently we are working on supporting data store. So all of the features that uh, you're being uh, used to using data store in the uh, native uh, Android and iOS, we are planning to support that in Flutter as native as possible. And in the future, we want to extend, uh, just like in JavaScript, we have some uh, UI widgets, uh, more drop uh, uh, kind of drop-in widgets that you can use for authentication, for uh, file uploads and downloads, and a lot of other uh, convenience widgets, UI widgets. We plan to support that in Flutter as well. And that will be coming uh, after our first uh, GA release. So we want to get uh, Flutter support for Amplify as parity with uh, the other platforms that we have and with the same uh, developer friendly experience. Yep, that and, makes sense. And we have an uh, RFC out to go a little bit more uh, in depth details about the implementation oh, yeah. on how we are uh, developing. Uh, the Amplify and we are uh, gathering um, as much feedback as possible from the community members because right now we are in the implementation phase and everybody has chance to uh, and opportunities to uh, um, um, influence us, uh, give us feedback on how can we how we can better uh, you know support these use cases and if we are missing something that uh, we would like to know uh, and please go to uh, these RFCs. They are pinned RFCs in the uh, Amplify Flutter people, and we would really appreciate uh, your feedback there. Yeah, I just shared on Twitch the link to the main RFC. Uh, so this is it's basically a GitHub issue where you can write your feedback, and then the team will try to prioritize it. OK, should I share your screen, Sean? Yeah, I was just gonna pull up the the link. Um, oh, okay. But yeah. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Just share. You can share the screen. Uh, so this is the Amplify Flutter repo, and I presume it's one of these RFCs. I'm sure there's more. Uh, but I linked yeah. the first one. Cool. Um, plenty to go. <laughs> Lots of work to do. But uh, really, like <clears throat> uh, for me, because I'm primarily JS. Uh, the the bubble break bubble burst for me was uh, the the sheer increase in Flutter interest. Uh, wow. This is Google Trends compared to React Native is green, uh, Ionic and Apache Cordova are kind of tailing off, uh, and so that's Why Google do you Trends. Think? Uh, you know, there's people have reasons. Uh, I tend not to judge, uh, and they're all speculative anyway. <laughs> um, but you can see, for example, Stack Overflow, uh, the Flutter questions have actually exceeded uh, React Native for a while, and they're actually exceeding Swift, it looks like. Um, it just seems like there, there is something here. There is, there is some level of popularity that um, uh, people have. And uh, yeah, this is the JetBrains survey. React, Flutter is like kind of neck and neck with React Native. So um, yeah, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't support React Native and probably and, and not have Flutter on the, at least the same level, if not more. So I think I think that's a that's a good framing for this. Um, this I, I was completely unaware of this. I joined Amplify after after this proposal, but uh, it made a lot of sense. And uh, giving you know the other the other indication was the the the, the issue that Praveen mentioned um, has the highest upvotes I've ever seen. Oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> 
575. Um, and yeah, we, I mean, you know, for anyone watching who cares about the future of Amplify, we really do use the emojis on GitHub issues as an indicator of interest. So definitely vote for the bugs and feature requests that you, you want to see. Um, and I think we, we announced it in August. So this is the official blog post from Ashish. And uh, you can read more about that. It gives you a little bit of like the, uh, the architecture. But essentially, you know, uh, kind of similar to React Native in the sense that you code in Flutter and then it compiles down to iOS or Android. Uh, I think it also does web natively as well. It's not like some strange third party thing. Um, but we mostly focus on iOS and Android. Um, I'm going to focus on iOS here because that's the one I'm more familiar with. But I'm sure you could, you know, use exactly the same setup for, for Android. Uh, and then the docs, uh, there's a, just like a drop down menu here. So it says Flutter preview. Uh, and yeah, I think we've worked on the docs a little bit. We have some videos up. Uh, it should be a reasonable flow that we can go through. Any questions? Someone, yeah, yeah, so someone asked, does Amplify support Flutter web? <laughs> See, right out the gate. Uh, I don't know. Praveen, what is that? Uh, not right now. <laughs> So not okay. right now, our, uh, the number one goal is to support Android and iOS in a uh, mobile-first development. We do plan on supporting web. Uh, not right now. The way we are architecting um, our whole uh, Amplify for Flutter as well is to make sure that we keep web use cases in mind, including desktop uh, use cases, because Flutter is a true cross-platform uh, uh, framework which supports uh, Windows, Mac OS, and all, all of those um, and different platforms. And it does makes it easy for us to expand on later to support web and all of these other platforms. So not right now, uh, maybe in the future. Cool. Makes um, sense. I mean, as a web guy, you know, we, we have very good JavaScript support. So, you know, <laughs> um, but uh, I understand the, the, the desire for Flutter web. Uh, so I'm going to get started. I have a very abbreviated demo. Essentially, it's the, it's the same demo that um, I kind of pulled up for my blog post announcement during uh, when, when we launched this thing, as well as the, the video that I launched. Uh, but that video was one minute, 40 seconds, extremely compressed. And uh, we are actually going to code it, code it through uh, here to, to hopefully not fail. <laughs> I rehearsed once today, but like, you know, uh, things. You never things know. Happen. You never know. So, so um, I'm just going to start from a completely clean project just so that people can see the, the flow. Um, so I'm going to just call it like live stream. Oh, God. Um, I already forgot what my location of the uh, the path is. Let me. It's like down. Is it do download? Now we can look at all your files. <laughs> I know, right? Should have hid all my um, yeah, not safe for work stuff. Uh, <laughs> Flutter, Flutter. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got to link up the SDK. I don't know if like, I don't know how to make it pre remember. Uh, it's got it's it's got to be a you know. We'll wait, there's got to be a way to remember it anyway. So uh, I'm going to stick it in here next, finish it. One thing I do like about Flutter is that the, the tooling integration is really good. Um, I, I definitely felt like uh, downloading packages, running the application, pulling up the simulator. Oh, uh, let's actually just see what the, the, the app uh, we're going to build oh, is. Yeah. So this is, the, this is the app. I already built it before. Um, we're just, we're going to build this from scratch, but just to, you know, skip ahead for people who are, who are kind of impatient. It's kind of like a photo viewer thing. We could make it an Instagram clone if we cared enough to, um, you know, to, to put filters and stuff like that. Uh, but it's got authentication, it's got storage, and it just gives you that, that basic demo of like, you can do any Flutter app that you want, and then we, we can, uh, Amplify can bring the back end. Um, so that's, that's kind of the, uh, the experience that we're going to go for, and you can upload, uh, more files. So, uh, Flut our, the AWS Flutter SDK doesn't offer this uh, right now. Um, I, I don't know why. Like, yeah, okay. Um, it's kind of it's, the emulator is kind of slow, cause, I guess, because I'm live streaming. So I, I downloaded more dogs this time. So <laughs> at least at least see, at least see something different. Um, but yeah, like so, uh, I had to custom code all this UI, uh, but eventually the AWS. Uh, Flutter SDK is going to have like a photo picker display library thing, uh, which is the same thing that we do in other frameworks as well. Uh, and so that's the dog, uh, that the image that we're going to display. Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> I also I also didn't size it down. So this is like the maximum thing, you know, resolution from Unsplash. That was probably you know not very clever of me, but whatever. Um, all right. So so that so this is the end product, and we're going to try and get there. Um, 
and that's that's me that's me that's me whatever okay um <clears throat> so uh so yeah wh where we are at is that this is a, a raw uh flutter library that we just spun up um and i'm think i think i should so i think what i was going to plan to go through here is kind of go through the prerequisites um we should also uh, so so you know kind of in the in the docs. This is the standard stuff that that uh, basically always applies. If you have used Amplify before, you already have it configured, so you're you're good. Um, so we're actually going to go to the create your applications section, um, and then kind of kind of step through some of these. So for example, um, we want to start a pod file, and uh, we need to head to the iOS folder. So let's see, Duh -duh -duh. cd iOS. Uh, and we should have a pod file here. Um, so I don't know why this actually matters because uh, it just says in the docs to bump this to uh, to iOS 11. Uh, Praveen, if you know, let me know because <laughs> I'm just doing it because the docs says so. Um, and I bumped it to iOS 11, or at, at least like maybe that's like the minimum. You're that, wondering that why you need that version? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so some of the features that we use, they are not available in iOS yeah. 11 and below. It's like a so that's minimum. one of the reasons that we want to make sure that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. Um, I guess we could explain more in the docs in the future. Uh, so so then we're going to add the Flutter dependencies. Uh, I don't really know if we actually use the Cupertino icons, but I'm just going to stick it in there. This is from the docs. Uh, we are not actually using Pinpoint. Uh, we're using some other stuff. Um, so what I would do is let me let me actually copy my copy the the dependencies from here there we go yeah so uh so flutter all right so our flutter support comes in uh four packages there's amplify core there's amplify auth cognito there's amplify storage s3 and then there's uh the amplify analytics that's the one and amplify analytics pinpoint so it's like kind of amplify category and then underlying AWS service. I think it's a pretty smart naming category. Um, so, you know, you kind of just pull in your dependencies based on whatever you want. Uh, I'm also going to need a file picker because that's that's what we use for picking files. Uh, and then I think you just hit pub get. Uh, this 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 one's cool. I like I, we don't have this in the JavaScript ecosystem. You can just hit a hit a button and it just does the install, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so so and then you know, we actually already I think I don't know if I've like. Oh, I need to export the the path. Sorry. Uh, export path. This thing, because I don't have this in my normal path. Wow. So I, <laughs> I saw that copy paste thing. That's intense. Yeah, uh, that's that's uh, Clippy. Uh, people always want to know what copy paste program I use, so it's Clippy. C L I P Y. It's just free and open source, and it's a clipboard manager. So it just remembers the last hundred things that I copied. So it's very good for going back and doing live demos. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's a tool of the trade for me. I, I live by this thing. Okay, so so uh, now we're in a, in a space where we can actually init. So I'm going to make this bigger because I do this for a living and I know that things are always too small. Though. Oh my God. Uh, how do you make uh, terminals bigger? I hate Android Studios, <laughs> different uh, keyboard shortcuts. So I don't remember. Does anyone know how to zoom? Oh, what is this? Apple... Uh, equals? Praveen might know. But, I don't know. I don't know. How to I wouldn't do command plus. Me neither. <laughs> uh, to be honest, it actually doesn't look that small. I think you're okay. okay. All right. All right. Fine. Uh, so you can. Uh, so the way to start an Amplify project is Amplify init. Um, in previous streams, we talked about how I always have shortcuts. So uh, oh, I yeah. don't want to type Amplify every time. So I just type A, and I have an alias for. Uh, amplify and so I can just type amplify in it and, and that um, shows up right there um, so I'm just going to go with the defaults for all these oh I should have said Visual Studio Code uh, okay whatever it says Visual Studio Code here I don't think it actually matters uh, but the docs actually tell us to pick IntelliJ even though I'm actually using Android Studio so um, whatever things up. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I don't know I just I get, I get addicted to hitting enter on these things so uh, that's that's my excuse. Uh, then we're gonna add uh, storage and auth, and then we can add the uh, the the files that we're gonna need. So 
while this is going, I mean, it, it shouldn't take too long because this is just in it. Uh, but while this is going, I'm actually going to open up my the lib folder. So, so we can actually see uh, this is the default Flutter package that we can that we can see. Uh, and actually, I think we can just run this. Can we just run it? Hmm. I hope it doesn't crash on me. Uh, the last time I ran this, it got stuck on assemble debug. <sighs> what uh, are you expecting to see from running it? So I just want I just want something to show up on screen, right? Like I think for me, whenever I do In my the simulator. Coding, yeah, just to just to test that every part of my chain works, so that before I keep adding dependencies, if something goes yeah. wrong, I'll be able to detect it from, uh, sure, from sure, like, sure. the minimum yeah. setup. So this will just uh, be whatever app Android Studio gives you out of the box. Exactly. Uh, yeah, this comes out You're of a lot of experience. Run? This comes out of a lot of experience doing live demos. <laughs> uh, Why isn't this running? It looks like it's run. It, so the, the last time I did this, it actually hung like this, and then I had to run a different command. Um, I don't actually know why. I, I googled this issue, and then people were just like, "Just kill it and then restart." So that's that's what I'm about to do. Uh, anyway, I think I should I, sh I should probably do that. All right, I'm gonna kill this. Uh, all right, the the amplify init that we ran in the background. So this is just initialize our project. The main yep. thing that changed here, nothing changed in this in this uh, main repo. Uh, but the main thing that changed here was this uh, amplify configuration.dart. So this was initialized uh, to show us, oh, okay, I, I know how to zoom in this one. This is just a mouse zoom. Um, this, th <laughs> this is where we'll add our config over time as we, as we spin up resources. So let's spin up other resources like amplify uh, add off, right? Uh, so we, we're just going to go for a very basic username and password off. And default configuration, you can also choose uh, so Social Provider Federation, if you need to, um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I really like the off workflow for this. Uh, you can get a lot more complicated if you need to. I'm, I've been recently diving into uh, some of the more nuanced details for that. Uh, we're also going to add storage, so amplify add storage, and uh, uh, we and you can you have a choice between DynamoDB or S3. Uh, we're going to do file storage with so S3, and just hit defaults for the rest. This one. I don't actually haven't I haven't thought this through, but basically you want you might want to have uh, give access to guest users. I'm just going to give everyone access, but uh, you might want to think it through for a real app, like who's going to need what. Um, probably for like an Instagram clone, you just want to uh, give read access to guest users for people who are not authenticated. Okay, so uh, we have we've provisioned this. So if I run amplify status. We've provisioned the resources, right, that we're going to need. We're going to need authentication, and then we're going to need storage. But we haven't actually created it in the background. Um, so that's what, that's what Amplify status does here. Um, and we actually need to push it, so Amplify push. But um, again, because me being me, I have a shortcut for that. This is APY is Amplify push dash dash yes. Uh, and that, that will, that will auto automatically uh, use the CLI flag to override any confirmation step that, uh, that, that might not really happen. Um, so that's how I run Amplify push. Okay, so um, I've kind of done that basic stuff. Now uh, I bought myself some time because this is this is actually going to take a while to provision through CloudFormation. So let's actually see if I can run the other commands uh, to get something to show up on screen. I think it's called like Flutter Run. Um, yeah, it's Flutter Run V. I don't know what V stands for. Oh, I got to export this stupid thing again. Export path. Um, uh, Flutter run V. Apparently, this one works for some reason. It gives you some more of an audit of like what's going on, what what hangs somewhere. And I was ready to debug things, but apparently, this is all it takes to make that great old build error unstuck. And so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> um, so it's building now. It should, like, like we don't have anything. We, we didn't change anything here. So it's, it's not relying on any Amplify stuff. So I hope that that'll be good enough for what we're trying to do. Um, and hopefully we and have to And it's just the basic app you're saying, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, think the, I think the reload, the hot reload for Flutter is also very good. 
compared to React Native. So I'm excited to see that out because that, that I last tried that like a month ago. So I, I you know, anyway, at least this this gives us a little bit more to look at. At uh, least doing things. Exactly. The other one was just like a progress bar that never moved. So um, I never really knew if it was stuck or not. But this one, this one, I'm like, oh, okay, like yeah, there's there's. It's doing work. <laughs> also, if anyone has questions, um, feel free to ask in, in in the Twitch chat. I mean, I mean, also like Praveen, you can give us your Flutter Pro tips because I, I'm literally figuring this out from Docs. I'd like some, like yeah. I've had uh, good success uh, using Visual Studio uh, for developing Dart. I found more uh, or just better extensions. Uh, working in the Visual Studio. I haven't uh, done a lot in um, Android Studio developing Dart yeah, should, or should. Dart code. It's pretty good for developing and debugging the Android code. But yes, it's a lot more back and forth, back and forth to switch between Visual Studio and Android Studio. OK, yeah, so so this is a basic that's counter application. Yeah. That's really funny. <clears throat> this is Material UI. Uh, and I mean, I, I do like that Flutter has some sort of uh, you know, React-ish mold where like you declare your component and then you declare you return some vague imitation of JSX, uh, <laughs> and this is the flo floating action button, and then you set state here with an increment counter. And increment counter is this. This is very Reacty paradigm. So I, I'm I'm familiar with this stuff, um, although it looks different syntax-wise. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the front end working now we just got to hook up the front end to the back end and let's look at the back end to see if we've provisioned it we have not so we got some time to burn uh this is where i typically start oh wow look at that timing man i'm just so yeah. good at this uh i'm out, i'm out doing myself <laughs> <laughs> do the count in the back of your head i think <laughs> okay so this is where uh, i do the baking trick we call this a baking trick in developer relations where uh i have you know how much time do I have? I have 30 minutes, I have 28 minutes left. Uh, Make and, it 25 minutes. And I have a lot of code to do. So what I do is I copy over uh, pre-made code and then we get to see the results. So you don't, get, you don't need to see me typing. Isn't that nice? That is nice. That is nice, right? So, uh, so here we have a new <laughs> <laughs> we fast forwarded through oh, all the right. hard stuff, <laughs> but like you that's know, like it's the true. that's the boring stuff. That's the boring stuff, you know. Um, <clears throat> so we're importing the the Flutter packages. Um, and sorry, no, this is our main. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, let me just kind of zoom in. Uh, so yeah, we, we're importing the packages that we're going to use, uh, and then uh, essentially creating like. Uh, a fork between am I logged in or not and then sending people to uh, either either the the landing page landing page is like kind of you know you're not logged in uh, please please log in uh, and and then we'll, we'll show you either the sign up view or the sign in view um, and then um, and then the main page this is where we we have the image uploader uh, component and an image line item component uh, or a user view component, um, and and these are all just like very standard Flutter Flutter paradigms for just like you know displaying a, a, a well sorry user view is where we control like whether the user is logging logged in or or signing out. Um, image preview this is the one where we actually show the images from S three. So for example, we we can call the 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 SDK. Um, methods like S3 get URL options, and uh, given given a storage key, we can actually access uh, those those URLs. So so that's, that's something that's, you you wrote. Um, I actually cobbled this together from so this is a simplified version of what's available in the uh, in the the repo. So the the Flutter folks have actually prepared a sample repo. So Amplify Flutter uh, inside the example folder. So if you go to the Amplify Flutter repo and go to example, uh, they have an example over here. Uh, it is a little bit more complex than I wanted, so I actually collapsed all these files into a single uh, single folder. Um, it, basically, it, it made it easier for live demos. Uh, if, if I had to hand code all of these, I could probably step through it, whereas this one was a little bit more structured, um, which uh, wasn't to my liking. So I changed it. 
uh, you have the power to change. Yeah, things. I was confused. I thought you said that the ability to see an image preview was built into this library, but it's not. Uh, it's not. No, you have to kind of cobble right. that together. You have to use the uh, URL. And yeah, then you have to. I mean, it. so you're. I see. What you're these doing. are these are all these are all just material but, UI components, but um, what oh, amplify amplifies oh, first. Yeah, yeah. So so uh, for people who don't know, this is what we're talking about. We have Amplify ships libraries, UI components, and a CLI. We use the CLI, we use the libraries, but we're not using the UI components. UI components are kind of pre-baked uh, in each individual framework that they, they, we're going to have something on offer, but we don't They're have one. They're just not Flutter. built yet. Yeah. yeah, so this is what Praveen and friends are going to be doing, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I mean, like... They're, they're, <laughs> There's so much to do. Like, look at the look at the number of legacy components that we still have to port over. Well, let's uh, say someone wanted to build a component. I mean, is this open source, Sean? It's all open source. Uh, <laughs> but ultimately, my so I'm a very much like I like to take control. So uh, the components that the Amplify provides are great, uh, but it's, you're probably likely going to have different requirements than amplify imagines so eventually you're gonna just want to code it yourself <laughs> that's my conclusion um, like these are these are just good for like getting started but then eventually you want to take over for a production app that's fair uh yeah okay we have a question uh, i will read to you yeah uh let's say i want my app users to upload picture during sign up so an often storage configuration i need to provide access to get users so i guess that question basically means um yeah can a guest user basically upload during sign up? Yeah, uh, first of all, a guest user can upload. Maybe like uh, okay. But beware of the beware of the security issues around that kind of thing. Uh, but also during sign up, you can upload a profile picture. Maybe that's what they want. That's uh, what they want. So, I probably too. So sign up custom attributes. Uh, there's a list of attributes somewhere. I don't know if you know this, Praveen. Uh, there's there's a list of attributes. So. Uh, profile off. picture is one of them? Yeah, yeah. Off dot sign up, username, password, attributes, and then there's a whole list of, of stuff. And uh I can show you, man. It's, yeah, profile uh, actually... picture they confirmed. Yeah. Uh okay, so do I not have to show you? I mean, just just or take my not. word for it. Just they they have username, they have preferred okay. uh pre preferred nickname, they have like address, they have zip code, they probably have like mother's maiden name as well. Uh, I'm I'm kidding, but it, it was very invasive. I was just like, who who the hell is gonna film this out? <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, it's it's just it's just like it's capability exposed from the underlying cognito layer. Cognito has support yeah, for all these things. So I don't believe though that uh, the pictures are one of these attributes. So as uh, I think uh, the person is asking, you probably have to upload it through S3 using guest uh, credentials, which will be public. And profile pictures are supposed to be public. public um i imagine and then you can use that uh, as a reference to the user attributes yeah yeah i mean you're gonna uh, put a string here I, I imagine that's that's what you're saying those are cognito yeah. attributes yes those are cognito yeah. attributes that amplify is exposing yeah uh you can probably find the relevant page in the docs for for that it's it's pretty uh, i was just looking at it yesterday so um all right, let's. I'm, I'm going to hit run on this because uh, we cheated, right? Uh, and <laughs> we should have a running app. I hope that this works now because the last time I did this and I did the whole like Flutter run dash v thing, it worked. Uh, so I, I'm hoping that this great old task thing works. And uh, the way that we'll know is that this changes. I might I might need to like turn this off or something. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's gone. It's gone unresponsive. Maybe well, this is a good thing. Hang on. Okay, let me kill this. Uh, How many of you are building with Flutter today, by the way? Yeah, that's a that's a question for the audience, I guess. The chat. All right. I don't like this very opaque. Worry, it's dumb. Oh, oh, we have something built. We have an APK. Whoa. Look at that launch. So these are from all the files that you've ma magically slipped in. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not that many files, and each of these are just nice components. I just didn't want to type them, right? Like, you know. Ugh. Sorry. Uh, I saw right, a I still, gross I landing page. 
But yeah, I mean, that, 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 yeah, that was just a, a loading thing. Okay, so we have a basic sign-in, sign-up thing. So this is the uh, the landing That's page uh, yeah. directing us. Uh, we're not we're not logged in, so uh, we we are directed towards a sign-in and sign-up component. I don't know where I'm looking at. Yeah, sign-in view or sign-up view, right? Uh, so this this is all pretty standard Flutter isms, which you can you can customize if you need to. Uh, I'm going to sign up. I think. Sure. So this is not going to be. So th there was no hosted UI for this. You manually built this UI. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, again, not to take credit for it because uh, this this is code that was uh, adapted from the examples repo. Uh, yeah, I'm just asking. Yeah. You're you're as a as a Amplify Flutter user, you're responsible for making all these. Yes. So, Ooh. Is that uh, all we have? Yeah. I cannot copy and paste into that simulator, so I have to manually type this. G H A B W M D P T U H Q Q at E T O C H Q dot com. Uh, I haven't figured out. Maybe there's a way to copy into the Android simulator. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, that is really impressive. <laughs> Your ability to type those random characters that quickly. When you've when you've typed like like when you've learned like you know to type out code from from strange sources in order to learn to code uh you get you get good at this anyone else uh, think that's crazy i may i may yeah. have screwed that up because I, i'm not getting my confirmation code usually i get it anyway. well i think it's texting it to you uh no it usually e it's, e it's oh email. okay then you screwed I, it up, i think yeah. i think i screwed it up yeah see don't celebrate too early also you know uh, there's these free email ones that give you more than 10 minutes yeah what's a what's a better email service I, don't I literally this. just type in email generator. Email generator? Uh huh. I don't believe that's the one. Yeah. That one or the other one. I've used both of those. You can do that? Wow. I don't know. Uh, let's pull out the app again. Oh, no, I killed the app. Uh. You got a compliment on your mic. What what about my mic? Sounds like you're in their ear. Ooh. Which is uh, a good thing. I will I will offer ASMR services once I'm done with this flutter. You know, this is I don't know the right I don't know what they call this. I I, I guess it's just like the formatting in Flutter, but it, it's really interesting. Or maybe I just haven't used um, Android Studio in a while, but I like how each indentation has that um, what do you call like the? Do you know what I'm trying to say? This thing? Yeah, that's not common in VS Code. Is that a Flutter mm -hmm. thing or is that a Android uh, an Android Studio? It's just so clean. It's, it's a it's an Android Studio thing. Okay, I'm gonna try signing up again because uh, I screwed it up last time. Oh, what is this? Ooh, it opened quick for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> that that could be some leaks. It's fine. <laughs> I don't work on anything that important. Like, you know, as as DA, like most of your stuff is in public anyway. Uh, okay, I, I gotta I gotta make a second account because the first one is gonna. When be I used to, I don't know if anyone's watching from the the Twitch channel, but I I used to stream during my time at Twitch, and I always accidentally had a leak or two. It's fine, man. It's like a reward for people who are, who are paying. It attention. is. It kept on coming back. That's not my real phone number, by the way. Um, I just am trying to trick them. Ooh, look at that. That was there fast. There we go. That was. Confirmation code 157. I would, I for demo purposes, because I do this a lot, I wish we could turn it off. Um, is there no way to disable it? There, there is, there is. You can, you can set uh, MFA to... And one of our biggest feature requests in the JS repo is that when you put the code in to just auto log you in. I know. Um, Do you yeah, agree with that? I, yeah, yeah. I, I complained about yeah. it uh, in, in my interview. <laughs> that, I guess, like, I'd be curious to understand the technical reasons as to why. It's, like, it's, it's like, cognito. It's, co it's cognito. Started, cognito so expects. It's cognito. Cognito expects this stuff. We have to reflect it. That's why one of my arguments is that Amplify should grow its uh, authentication services. Okay, so we have a blank app running, uh, and this is our main page. Uh, yep. Very well, very well named uh, for the main page, and it, essentially this has it shows a 
it shows a list of, of images that we've uploaded and then the uh, image uploader component is down here. So uh, let's go ahead and upload that. And this is the file picker that we, that we, uh, that we chose. Yeah. Um, and let's upload some good dogs. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I, sh so this is, there should be like a progress bar here or something that does some up image uploading. So this is where, you know, having a pre-built component that does this help, would help because right now Can, just relying in this on simulator, this if you click the camera, will it use your laptop camera? I don't actually know. Um, we could try. Um, I think that'd be kind that'd of be, fun. That'd be, a, that'd be a good one. So here, here we're actually downloading uh, that image and then and kind of displaying it. Uh, again, uh, this is full size from Unsplash, right. so I should I should probably optimize this to like I don't know like a hundred pixels or something, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see if uh, we can. Because what happens if you click it? Mm, I think so. Okay, hang on. I think I should click this upload image, and then but the file picker to... didn't. Switch the camera it here. Is there a camera? Is there a camera here? No. no camera here. Okay. So if I click the camera in the That's simulator, what I was saying. click that. Yeah. Oh no no oh, this, is, this is this is no there's got to be a camera. Okay. Hang on. Um. Oh, there's no camera. Yeah, there it is. Oh, right next to calendar. Yeah, it will give you a simulated uh, camera view, which you can try to you know take photos of but of a simulated does environment. It use, does it use my camera? Oh, what what camera no. is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a fake room. That's so it's just a simulation. <laughs> Wait, I can't. I can't move. It's really funny. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I I don't care about this then because <laughs> it's just images. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So, uh, for the first time in Amplify with Friends history, we finished our. Yeah, app. I think we finished the uh, demo ahead of time. It's working. It uh, it's not the it's not the most beautiful app I've ever done, but it works. Uh, and let's upload some more dogs because why not? Uh, and then we can take questions, I guess, for for people yeah. who actually know no Flutter because um, we have a Flutter expert here. People uh, than normal, which is probably due to the election stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But we can still take questions. Does anyone in chat have questions? Really, I'd say about anything. Praveen has been on the Amplify team, I think you said, for about a year and a half. So he can probably answer all sorts of questions. Um, so I'm trying to think of what questions I have. I mean, I mean, yeah, Flutter seems really exciting. What is the best uh, way to learn Flutter, having nothing to do with Amplify? Yeah, that's Praveen, that's for you. <laughs> uh, there, there are plenty of uh, tutorials. It's, it's really uh, well supported in the community, the Flutter. I've actually found it more uh, uh, developer resources than React Native. I tried to do React Native as well, and just somehow it was too crazy and too complicated to learn and uh, uh, get up and going. It seems like a lot of uh, things got put together at the very end uh, to you know, support cross-platform. Uh, using React Framework, React JS, Flutter seems like it's uh, kind of supported from the ground up and built from the uh, ground up as a cross-platform framework. So, the, as uh, I think um, uh, you mentioned, that uh, it has an amazing tooling that kind of accelerates learning as well because you're not get stuck around even the sample app not working. Uh, I know you are having issues with the Android Studio's uh, sample app just not starting up. Uh, that's a little bit weird, but um, overall, it has a lot of uh, uh, developer uh, tooling really helps in troubleshooting and getting starting right away. Whoops. That's good to know. Um, Sean, you never retweeted my tweet, by the way. I That's was so busy getting so this going. People. Well, <laughs> you should for Q&A time. We still have about 10 minutes. Um, it's fine. Sorry, it came in late. Where did the mobile emulator come from? Uh, that is the Android Studio um, emulator. We are building a Instagram copy. <laughs> uh, I just want to show people how to get to oh, their yeah. files. Uh, so, you, so if you're, in, let's say you're building a native app and, and a web web app, uh, I always like to show people this is where you go into Amplify Console to actually find, uh, you know, the, the file storage stuff. You can you can download all your information from here. So like you can open it up in S three. 
uh, and see exactly the files that we're working with together with all that metadata. Uh, yeah. I, I just like showing this off because um, I think it's important to understand that Amplify isn't a separate service. Like it just helps you to, to work with the existing services like S3. Uh, and these are the files that we already uploaded. I think I can upload oh. images. Yeah. Uh, add files. That's cool. I don't love yeah, this. Any like, other Amplify flutter type questions? Um, we have another episode coming on November 18th. So that should be two weeks from today. And yeah, also curious what other topics folks want to hear, that sort of stuff. Maybe we'll do a poll if we have time. Um, in Amplify environments, can I add some category like off in two different environments? Yeah. Wait, I think it's my understanding that you only have to add it once. Uh, they, I mean, they want to jump between two different environments. So it's like a different environment here, right? Like there, there just would be a separate environment. Um, how do you add an, you can't add another environment without, uh, I don't think, I don't think within the UI here, but you can just, uh, yeah, you know, does that answer your question? There's commands. If you type amplify env, uh, you get amplify env add and to add a new environment and then you just, uh, do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, you can add, you can add a separate auth. Like, I think that's, that's a very standard use case for this kind of stuff. Um, testing staging production yep let's look at the dogs again uh this is like a four megabyte monster um praveen were there things we missed that you want to talk about or mention in flutter or give like a sneak peek as to what's coming uh, for the sneak peek, yes, data store uh, is definitely in uh, development right now. We have few PRs out. So uh, again, uh, and, uh, and an RFC out for data store implementation, very specifically how we are building data store. And so again, we invite everyone to take a look at the RFCs, uh, contribute in the PRs, and anything they want to uh, uh, see going forward or uh, want to contribute in some of these things, uh, definitely reach out to us through the uh, GitHub repo. Yeah, we also have um, a Discord. I'm pretty sure we had a chatbot command, but it looks like the chatbot in Twitch isn't working, um, which is weird. Are you there, Danny? I don't know why that's not working. Uh, so a follow-up to the environment question. I created two environments, but wasn't able to add off in the second environment because it already was there. Yeah, exactly. I think you only add the categories once, and then I assume they going to be in each Duplicate environment. Duplicate over? Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought that was part of the beauty is you don't have to, like the backend components are visible in all environments. I think it depends on what they want to do. It sounded like they wanted to do different setups. Was that what they wanted? Yeah. Um, Irish Studio. Yeah, and then you get two I, I different I'm, I'm not, so That's the beauty, I'm not right? Looking, so you have, I, don't, I don't see the questions at okay. all. So. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, um, let's see. I don't, yeah, exactly. You get like Cognito pool dev, Cognito pool prod, so therefore you can make test users and your test Cognito and it won't sort of interfere with your production setup. Um, this is really something to celebrate that we've finished the demo. Yeah, um, I definitely went through things very quickly. So if anyone wants to go, go through the code line by line, uh, you can head to the blog post, the docs, or the uh, Amplify Flutter repo. Can you share your um, blog, blog post with me, and then I'll put it in Twitch? Yeah. Or you can put it in Twitch? I don't know how to put um, it on Twitch. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not on I, I mean, I haven't, on I, haven't Twitch, opened, I haven't opened Twitch yet. Okay. Um... Oh, someone posted it literally within seconds of me. That's funny. Cool. Um, but yeah, I guess if there aren't any other questions, we'll, I mean, we normally end it in a few minutes anyway. Um, 
yes, I want a different auth setup in two different environments because you can't edit the auth options. So the only option was to create the new auth. I see. So you want the auth to behave differently in a different environments. That's an interesting one. Do you know about that, Praveen? Mm, no. Um, I was hoping that we can still configure it differently. Um, but I'm not, I haven't really tried a multiple environment setup yet. OK. Yeah, if you follow up in Discord, I should be able to help you. My thinking is that the auth environments probably have to behave the exact same in both environments. That's, that's my take. It's funny, we did a episode, what was it, last time on basically this topic? Of shared environments? I don't think we went into that. That's yeah, I know we didn't talk about this, but um, those guys were experts on it. That's why I bring it up. Um, well, okay. I think um, we can probably end here then. Uh, thanks for the Discord link. So that's a great way to follow up. Um, I think the blog post is really the follow up from this one. So I can post that in the Amplify with Friends Discord channel and sign up for reInvent. The registration's open, and we will be back in two weeks from today. I don't believe we've decided on the topic, so we'll probably tweet that out. Um, I'll try to actually have it be for data store because I think data store is a really uh, exciting feature of Amplify that we haven't uh, devoted a lot of time to on this. Uh, oh yeah, I, I have another super fast demo for data store. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll try to have like me and Sean and then someone also, I don't know if you can hear it. Like, no. it's kind of loud. Um, but um, cool. Okay. Well, thank you, Praveen, for joining. This was a lot of fun. Any other announcements I missed? Sean? No, not that I'm aware. Okay. Well, cool. I guess we'll see everybody later. Thanks for joining and see you in two weeks. Yeah, follow up on Discord. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone.